You've probably heard that sleep is essential for great health, and it's absolutely true. But the problem is, even if we know that, some of us struggle to fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Well, that's exactly why I wanted to create today's video where I'm gonna share five somewhat unusual sleep hacks to help you get deeper sleep and fall asleep faster. And this video is gonna be different than just take some melatonin or put some earplugs in or try to go to bed earlier type tips. This is some stuff that you probably haven't tried before, so I wanna challenge you as you go through this video to pick at least one of these this week and apply it into your life. Let's get into today's sleep hacks video. Fitfatherproject.com. Sleep hack number one is to use some sleep frequency music. So you may have heard that the brain has different types of electrical activity. When we're very awake during the day and we're doing tasks and we're thinking about things, our brain is in this beta wave state where it's very like high electrical activity. When we're a little more relaxed and we're kind of like in the zone, the brain activity actually goes down a little bit and we're in alpha waves. That's when people feel like they're zen, they're locked in. We're like alert, but we're still peaceful. And as we get into deeper brainwave states when we get to sleep, we get down into theta waves and eventually into delta waves, and that's when we're in deep sleep. So the process of getting to sleep is moving the brain from high electrical activity to lower, slower electrical activity. And this means that the brain's moving at a slower frequency. And here's where sleep music comes in. We can actually take the same frequency of those theta waves, those deep waves when we want to get into sleep, and play that in your ears. And when we play these tones, it actually helps synchronize the brain to this slower wave state. And I want you to actually hear what this music's like. It sounds a little bit something like this. And there are literally hundreds, if not thousands of different kinds of tracks here on YouTube. In the description, in the comments below, we're actually gonna pin a couple of my personal favorites that you can use and try. And the point is this. If you start to play this music around 30 minutes, maybe even one hour before you go to bed, or heck, right before you go to bed, this can help get that brain into that lower, relaxed state. Without you trying to do anything else, it's just gonna train those brainwave patterns to be a lot more slow and relaxed, which will help you get to sleep. So that's why it's sleep hack number one. Let's move on to our second sleep hack. Sleep hack number two is to take a hot shower or a hot bath around one hour before you go to sleep. And this may sound a little counterintuitive because you may know something about physiology that as we're getting to sleep, our core temperature is actually dropping. We want to be in a slower metabolic state. We want to have a cooler body to get us to sleep. We've all experienced the converse, hot summer night, we're really hot in bed, we're sticky, we're rolling around, we can't really fall asleep because we're too hot. Our bodies need to be cooler. And here's actually where using hot around one hour before you go to bed actually helps you because when we get in that hot shower or that hot bath, after we get out, our body does something called a heat dump where it releases all this excess heat that we had from that hot exposure and it actually drops our core temperature lower than when we started. So even though we're getting hot in the shower or the bath, we end up with a lower core temperature around one hour later. And this heat dump is really valuable for helping you go to sleep. Now, bonus points. If you have access to a sauna, this is probably the most effective way to do it. And especially if it's something like an infrared sauna, you can do that at night. But if you have just a hot shower, hot bath, that also works. And if you are able to get into a bath, you can also use some magnesium salts, AKA Epsom salts, which are great for relaxing the whole system. And again, you don't want to necessarily do this right before you go to bed. Give your body some time to dump that heat for around one hour. It's a really good sleep hack. It can help you sleep a lot. Let's get into the third tip. Sleep hack number three is to take some magnesium in supplement form. So you may know magnesium is one of the most important minerals in the body. It's literally involved in over 300 different enzymatic reactions. Like when your body's trying to produce ATP, it needs magnesium. When your blood vessels, which control all the circulation, they wanna relax, they need magnesium. Magnesium is this one amazing mineral that shifts our bodies into that parasympathetic rest and digest state. So it's a phenomenal supplement for you to take at night to really help your body relax. Now, when it comes to magnesium, you need to know about taking the right kind of form because there's some kinds of magnesium that are actually just straight up laxatives. You've heard of milk of magnesia or magnesium oxide. If you take this in large enough quantities, it will make you poop your brains out and it will not help you sleep. There are better forms for sleep like magnesium glycinate, magnesium citrate. These are two of my personal favorites. You take these around 200 to 500 milligrams around 30 minutes to one hour before you go to bed and it's gonna help relax your system so much. And this alone, paired with any of those other sleep tips, could be massively beneficial for you, especially if the person who believes you need a lot of melatonin or different kinds of supplements to go to sleep. I think magnesium is a lot more foundational than that. So I recommend you get that into your routine. 
And also it's a good idea to eat some of these high rich magnesium foods throughout the day. You can see them on the screen. These are very good for your overall health and performance and your body when you have higher magnesium stores is also gonna be less stressed during the day as well as help you sleep better at night. That's our third sleep tip. Let's get into number four. Our fourth sleep hack on this list is to use some sleepy tea. And I have two of my favorites right here. By Traditional Medicinals Night Night and by Organic India, they have something called Tulsi Sleep. And so not enough people drink tea and it's like really overrated. A lot of people drink caffeinated tea like black tea and green tea, but I think sleepy tea is even more powerful and even more beneficial because there are some tried and true herbs and plants that absolutely relax our nervous system. Things like chamomile, passion flower, these things, lavender, these are like so powerful, really getting us into that parasympathetic rest and relaxation state. And this is completely backed by research. They've shown that women, after they give birth and have sleep problems and insomnia, they use these teas. They're gentle, they're safe long-term, and they help them sleep better. They've shown that athletes recover better when they actually use some of these sleepy teas as well because it shifts that body into that parasympathetic mode, and it's actually delicious. If you're the kind of person that's ever felt like you want some like sweet tooth or taste after dinner because you just had the meal and you want something a little extra, the sleepy tea could be great. And quite frankly, you could have it like even earlier in the evening to start to unwind. It's not like all of these teas necessarily just like knock you out immediately. I mean, some of them have like harder ingredients in them like valerian root or hops. Like these can be very, very sedative, but something like chamomile tea, you can certainly have that like right after you have dinner as a nice little you know, digestive aid and help relax you. It's a really good tip. And the way to actually drink tea consistently is to have an easy way to heat up water. If you have like a hot water kettle or something that you get in the habit of making, just turn that thing on after dinner, get it warm, brew a cup, drink it sometime in the evening. It's absolutely gonna help your sleep. And it's something that has a lot of other health benefits too. That's sleep number hack number four. Let's get into our final tip on this list. So sleep hack number five is to start a prayer or meditation practice. And I'm not gonna necessarily speak to you about what your particular beliefs are or religion, because whatever that is, is very personal for you. But I will say this, at the end of your day, you just had all this activity. You process so many memories, emotions, you accomplish some things, maybe some instances happen that are running in your mind. Having a moment to really bring it all together, to really just calm down, to process, or even just quiet the mind, or if you have a relationship with God, to get into a devotional state where you're able to like find some peace before you end the day and start the next day is massively important because so many of us struggle with sleep, not even because it's a physical basis, not because we lack magnesium, not because we're too hot or too cold, but because our mind is too active. So the simple practice of creating a routine at the end of the day where you're able to just like unwind really just assess what happened. And ideally you have a little bit of gratitude, be grateful for some of the experiences that happen, as well as maybe create a little bit of plan for what's good to come tomorrow. So you have tasks you didn't get done, you know they're on the list, write out a little plan so the mind can kind of calm down and doesn't need to ruminate on all these things. And of course, if your practice gets deeper and it becomes deeper prayer or deeper meditation, there's additional benefits for obviously like brain health, but I think for spiritual health too. It's a really nice way to end your day and it's a nice capstone for saying, yes, today was good, we did this, now we get a fresh new day tomorrow. So that simple practice pays massive dividends. Now, in the last few minutes of this video, I wanna to talk to you in really rapid fire format about a couple things that absolutely destroy your sleep. One thing is eating way too much food way too late at night. So if you have a big dinner and you're eating way late at night and your belly is full, there's so much digestive process and your body gets hot after a big meal. I know you've absolutely experienced this. You have a big meal and you sometimes get like the sweats or you're like, whoa, your body has so much metabolic activity. It's trying to process so much and it's counterproductive to the cooling mechanism that we actually want. So simply eating dinner earlier is gonna help improve your sleep. Also, we all know stimulants, right? A lot of us have them in our lives in the form of like coffees and teas. Make sure you're getting those like earlier in the day. Probably not in the afternoon. If you are having sleep troubles, I would even just cut down your stimulants period. That's gonna help you. Now, a lot of people to de-stress often use different kinds of recreational substances, whether it's alcohol or marijuana or other things like this. And the thing about these substances, although they make us feel relaxed on one level, they actually do disrupt sleep. And the kind of sleep they disrupt is actually the REM sleep, the rapid eye movement sleep. This is the kind of sleep when we're actually dreaming. And a lot of people who drink a lot or smoke a lot don't actually have a lot of dreams and it negatively affects cognitive health over the long term. So short term it can feel good, but long term it can cause problems. And the last thing I'll say is those phones that we all have on us and all that light that they're kicking off into our eyes is absolutely disrupting our natural melatonin production. So melatonin is our natural sleep hormone that our brain makes when the light gets lower in the ambient environment. 
Our brains create melatonin, which prepares us for sleep and really is anti-inflammatory for the brain. If we're constantly looking at this bright phone, particularly late at night, it's sending mixed messages to our brain because at, at some sense we're like, oh my gosh, it's night, it's time to go to bed. At the same sense we're getting blasted with this light that's suppressing melatonin. So get on your phone and turn on some of these night shift modes or some of these settings that make the screen look a little more orange color. It's gonna be massively beneficial. Or get something like these, blue blocking glasses. These are pretty intense ones, but like you get something like this, you put these on, you're blocking the light. And just think about this. You're probably in your bathroom at night, brushing your teeth, blasting the lights, then looking at your phone, checking your messages, and then looking at a bunch of things. What if the phone were out of your bedroom? What if you had the blue blockers on as you're brushing your teeth? And what if you spent five or 10 minutes just praying and meditating before you go to bed? Do you think your sleep would be better? I almost guarantee it will be. And I hope these tips are helpful for you today. So my friend, thank you for being a part of our channel. If you found this useful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button so more people get to see this video. And of course, subscribe. We literally have hundreds of videos across our Fit Father and our Fit Mother Project YouTube channels. And if you want more direct help with your health and fitness, check the links in the description below. You can see links to our full website where we have all of our case studies and testimonials of over 50,000 moms and dads in over 100 countries who we've helped with their health and fitness. And yes, it's like sleep, but it's also nutrition and it's exercise and it's mindset and it's accountability. We do all of that in a really simple, fun, engaging way. And we have free meal plans and workouts in the description you can check out below. Thanks for being my friend. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. I'll see you soon around our channels and I hope you enjoyed today's video.